Okay. Now we'll solve this quadratic congruence that is 5x square minus 6x plus 2 is congruent to 0 more 13. Now as you we will multiply both side by 4a. 4a means this is my a, this is b, this is c. 4a is nothing but 20 and gcd of 20 and 13 is 1. That's why I can multiply both sides 20. So if I will multiply this one, I will get 20 into 6x plus 40 here. So once again you do uh, 2 into 5 this will be 10x square full square minus 2 into 10x into 6 plus 6 square minus 6 square plus 40 is congruent to 0 mod 13 ok now this will be 10x minus 6 whole square so here you will get 36 here it is 4 so 40 so what what you will get uh, 4 is congruent to 0 mod 13 it is you can write so this will be uh, 10x minus 6 whole square is congruent to minus 4 mod 13 so minus 4 you can write 9 also because minus 4 plus 4. so in place of 4 I can write minus 4 I can write 9 because they are belongs to both equal same equivalence class so now you take y equal to 10x minus 6 and d equal to 9 okay d obviously is already there so no need to worry so now we'll solve this one y square is congruent to 9 mod 13 now find the y value y clearly um, you uh, y equal to 3 it will satisfy why because if you put 3 then 3 square 9 is congruent to 9 modulo 13 so 3 congruent modulo 13 is one solution this is one solution okay now another solution just uh, try put 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 12 you have to put just or guess y equal to you put 10 then it will be 100 100 uh, minus 9 so this is 91 so 13 divides this one so y uh, so 13 divides 91 na? 91 na? Ha, yes correct so this is modulo 13 so this is second solution okay so there are two solution so y congruent to 3 modulo 13 this is one solution and y is congruent to 10 modulo 13 this is another solution but the, we found the value for y what 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 we have to find we have to find the value of x so put y in place of y you will put 10x minus 6 is congruent to 3 mod 13 so here it will be 10x is congruent to 9 mod 13 here also you will, you will see uh, 10x minus 6 is congruent to 10 mod 13 here we will once again we will get 10x is congruent to 16 mod 13 and 16 and uh, 3 are equal, 16 you can write as because both are same equivalence class 16 and 30 uh, now we can solve this one using uh, you know how to solve known how to solve linear congruence solve solve this ok now we will see we have only two solution you are getting but how do you know there is only two solution yes we have one theorem we have one theorem we didn't prove but ok for the moment we will apply suppose f of x is congruent to 0 modulo p ok here p is prime p is odd prime ok you take odd prime suppose this this function a a n x n plus a n x to the power n minus 1 ok plus up to a naught congruent to 0 mod p ok if p is a prime and p does not divides a n and obviously because it is of the degree n then this ok this is f of x suppose f of x 
can have at most ten incongruent solutions. So by this by this this observation or by this theorem we can tell that this congruent because 13 is a prime so there will be at most two solution and we have this two solution you find this and what is the value of x okay final answer will be you will get you will get x equal to 10 and 12 and modulo 13.